Welcome back everybody. Today I'm testing out a product that Amazon keeps recommending to me, so I figured I'll try it out and see how it works. And that is this, which is a mini indoor fire pit that runs on rubbing alcohol. There's quite a few popular models out there. This one seemed to be kind of a good balance between price and ratings. So let's see how it works in today's video. First up, let's flash back to the unboxing and see how that went. All right, let's take a look at this tabletop rubbing alcohol fireplace, and I paid $59.96 for this. We have a warning here. They say read the, uh, the operating manual before using the fire pit or it can result in death or serious injury. Now here are some instructions and warnings. I'll read those over. All right, it looks like a roll of toilet paper from the uh, hotel. But no, it's not a roll of toilet paper. It is, it looks like a big piece of concrete. I see pieces coming off of it already. All right, so the claims are that it's a portable tabletop fireplace. It's odorless and smokeless, fueled by standard rubbing alcohol, no mess or cleanup for indoor or outdoor use. They say it lasts 40 to 50 minutes and made in the USA. Now on Amazon, those who liked it, a lot of people liked the function and attractive design. Most people said it functioned as advertised. The people that didn't like it, some people said the edges were prone to breaking and crumbling. I can kind of already see that right here. Uh, some people said it didn't stay lit. That's the preliminaries. Let's get started. All right, it's time to get started. It should be pretty simple. So here we go. Now there aren't really a lot of instructions, but there really isn't much to it anyways. They do say to leave an inch gap between the top of the alcohol and the top of the unit itself. So I'll do that. That only makes it about halfway up in here, but they still say that's gonna last 40 to 50 minutes. So we'll test that out as well. They said to use either 70 or 91% alcohol, which I have here. So here we go, filling the unit. And I got some on the side there. And there it is. That's about an inch from the top. So let's light this and see how it goes. They say this is supposedly clean burning with no soot in the ceiling and no carbon monoxide generated. We shall see about that. They also say to use a long handled lighter. I'm gonna try this one and another one. First lighting. It lit, what do you know? We've got fire here. It is a nice size flame. It looks pretty good. I don't really know what I was expecting, but it's a pretty good sized flame. It's very nice looking. They include this, which I originally I thought was a coaster, but they show it being used to snuff the fire out. Let's see how that works. Well, it worked pretty well. No smoke either, none. That's kind of nice. Whoa, it's quick, it lights quickly. And you can use one of these uh, flameless uh, lighters as well. Obviously the flames are hot, but the unit itself doesn't look like it's getting too hot. A little bit around the top at the bottom seems like it's still pretty cool. We'll see how it goes after about 30 minutes though. It's kind of warm towards the top here. I don't know if I'd want to hold that. Down here it's not so bad, but up here it's pretty warm. So is that it? Maybe the review's over after a couple minutes. Nah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snuff this out, I'm gonna refill it, see how long it lasts, and then I'll try some marshmallows in here before we wrap this thing up. All right, I've refilled it up. I'm gonna set the timer and see how long this lasts. They say 40, 50 minutes, we shall see about that. Here we go, boom. The lighting is kind of oddly satisfying. The timer has started. We shall see if we get the 40 to 50 minutes they claim. I'll come back when it's done. All right, I'm at the 10 minute mark. Couple observations. Number one, there, there definitely is some decent amount of heat generated from this. You could kind of warm yourself up with it. Number two, there really isn't any smell. I don't smell anything at all and I don't really see any smoke either. So. So far, their claims about this seem pretty accurate. But let's see how long it lasts, and then we'll go outside and try some marshmallows. All right, we're at the 25 minute mark. I don't think it's gonna make it 40 minutes. There's not a lot left in there. But I wanted to also point out, they say you should not refill this while it's burning. That could be bad. And they also say you shouldn't really move it while it's burning. That could be bad too. I also noticed the outside's getting kind of warm. Let me pull out the thermal imager and see how it looks. As you can see, the outside is certainly warmer than it was when it first started. So really all except for the very bottom is kind of warm or too hot to touch. So it's certainly warming up. So down here, it's kind of passable, but the higher you get, the it, it's really hot up here. You can't even touch that. So it does, it does get hot. At the 33 minute mark, it's, it's, it's going out. There it goes. That's about, all, that's about all she wrote. That's it, 33.50. Not quite the 40 minutes they claim, but pretty, pretty close, I think. My only surprise was how hot the outside gets. I thought it was gonna be warm, but not that hot. It was pretty hot, especially toward the top. But overall, really, it kind of worked like it was supposed to, so I'm happy about that. I have one more test to do, and then we're gonna wrap this thing up. The big question is, can you actually toast marshmallows and not taste like rubbing alcohol? Let's find out. I think we're gonna get a toasted marshmallow here. 
Well, it is toasted. Let me take a bite here. Mmm, just like when I was a kid. Well, I mean, you can't use it for this. I really didn't have to come out here to do my marshmallow. I just want to do it for dramatic purposes. So let me finish my marshmallow, go inside, and then wrap this thing up. How about a close-up of the marshmallow toasting process? It seems pretty good for this. Look at this. Not bad at all. That was quick. Toasted marshmallow in seconds. Not bad, really. All right, so I guess that's it with this one. I think that overall it pretty much functioned as I hoped it would. My only caveat would be that the outside seemed to get a little bit warmer even than I expected it would be. There is a bit of an alcohol smell when it's extinguished, but while it's burning, I didn't smell anything at all. It's a pretty attractive display, but obviously since you have fire indoors, you want to be extra careful with it. But I think it pretty much works as advertised. But if you've used an indoor mini fire pit like this, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.